Natural marble has a modern alternative, a composite material known as cultured marble. It consists of ground marble or limestone mixed with liquid plastic. Less expensive than natural marble and easier to work with than stone, cultured marble is often used to create unique bathroom and kitchen fixtures. This vanity top and pedestal sink are both made of cultured marble, cast in fiberglass molds. To make a vanity top, a worker centers a sink bowl mold on a counter mold, then places a drain pipe attachment over the sink mold's exit drain. He marks with a grease pencil where the faucet openings will be. Then he masks off areas to protect and places a beeswax seal all along the bowl's edge where it meets the counter. He sprays the molds with protective gel that will give the vanity top a shiny protective finish. Finally, he places cardboard tubes over the faucet hole marks. The molds are now ready for casting. A machine equipped with a mixing pot automatically measures out the resin workers pour into these molds. Raw pigments like sterling silver, sandbar, wild rose, white titanium and fawn beige give the resin its color. A worker sifts them in measured amounts into the resin as it's mixing. Next, he adds a catalyst to the resin. Then some granulated limestone to thicken it. The catalyst sets off the chemical reaction that causes the resin mix, known as matrix, to harden. From this moment on, he needs to be swift. He has only 15 minutes to mix, color, and pour this batch of matrix into the molds before it hardens. He adds more white pigment to the base color, using a paddle to mix it along the surface. Then he takes the wild rose pigment, mixes in some resin, and again works it into the surface to streak it with color, an effect known as veining that mimics the look of marble. He scoops out some of the surface mix and pours it onto the mold. As the matrix pools, the rose-colored veining in the surface mix is visible. Now he pours out the rest of the matrix. He casts the sink and counter in a single piece, so there won't be any grout lines around the bowl. A pneumatic tool vibrates the molds bringing tiny air bubbles to the surface, the vanity's underside. Air trapped in the matrix can cause it to break or mar the finish. A worker lays down a temporary plastic hat over the bowl. He weighs it down to hold it in place as he pours matrix inside the hat to cast a bowl that's as thick as the base, about two centimeters. He lets the matrix set for 30 minutes, then removes the hat from the bowl. Next, he drops down the mold's backsplash and puts a hole in the drain. He shoots in bursts of compressed air, while a co-worker carefully wedges under the backsplash to part the mold, revealing the vanity's marbled surface. To make sure the vanity lies level on its cabinet, a worker grinds down the underside, then the drain area. Next, he sands down the backsplash and the sides, working at an angle with a hand sander to dull any sharp edges. He removes the drain mold and buffs the surface to a mirror finish. Finally, he knocks out the faucet holes. Here's a finished vanity with a variety of integrated sink bowls on display. Cultured marble truly is a versatile material that offers endless possibilities.